welcome to my channel, Miss the Girl Life. Now a vlogging channel. I am Tamika, just country Miss the Girl, living in North Carolina. I am a mom of three. Trying to make it in this world with this thing called life, y'all. To know us is to love us. Hope you are inspired and motivated. Enjoy! y'all so this video is going to be a sponsored video a lot of the content was removed from this video like a lot of the footage because they wanted the video around 10 minutes long and it took us way longer to that uh, to that way longer than that to put this chicken coop together okay so i'm giving my honest opinion about it now, I was supposed to have this video up, I do admit, February time. I've been had it, but I had issues with the footage and the, the, the um, chicken coop was already put together. And the only thing to do was to lose, well, lose the footage completely and take the chicken coop down and reassemble it and all that stuff. Finally, I was able to figure out what was going on with the footage, y'all. It has been a mess. So I was supposed to done have gotten this out. I am so sorry, Act 2 Van, but things happen. And in my case, this happened, okay? Um, I'm normally on time with putting out, you know, what I need to put out. But, so let's get into this video. So like I say, a lot of footage has been removed because I did not want it, well, I was told to have it around a certain time frame well time limit around 10 minutes i think i may be still a little over that so um but let's get to the important information about this chicken coop okay so first of all let me say fast shipping um normally within one to two working days from the uh, warehouse they have eight warehouses that they use here in the united states um and then it's delivered, well, it's, it's one to two working days before they get it together um, and get it shipped out. And then it take another three to five working days for you to receive it. Okay, the material of this chicken coop is made from fir wood and coated with eco-friendly water-based painting. And is a 100% safe, okay? So, um, if I'm not, let me see. This, this coop came with two boxes all right um far as the assembly now this is where i get my honest opinion okay um some of the instructions can be a little bit hard to understand just by how they are worded and some of the areas where you need to put strews and things like that was kind of difficult because it wasn't very clear. And then some of the areas for the strews was not like they had pre um pre hold areas. I guess you could say they was not. They didn't. I guess you could say protrude all the way through. They wasn't. You you kind of have to make your own. So if you can get past that, that is really really no big problem. Um, another thing that I would say about this, when I looked at the box and from my understanding, I thought this chicken coop came with the house, well, the, not the house, it came with the house, it is the house. I thought it came with the run. This particular one does not come with the run, okay? So keep that in mind when you are purchasing your coops, make sure that you know that. Now, this particular um, chicken coop is the it's an Activan chicken coop, and that is the brand of it. That is the company. It is a AIR67, okay? It's the AIR67, okay? So, um, they have different ones that you can choose from. Now, this particular chicken coop um, said it holds at least um if i'm not mistaken about three to five chicken's okay now from a person that have chickens 
Um, yeah, you probably could get those in there to live in to like lock them up because like I say, this is the house. This is not the run area. If you are new to getting chickens, do not say, hey, oh, I can just get that chicken coop and keep them in there. They need to be out to run around, different things like that. But it also depends on the size of your chicken, okay? The size of your chicken. You may have chickens that's smaller than than another um, breed of chickens, and that will definitely um, take down the space, the amount that you can have for that space of this particular coop. So, um, down in the description box below, I will put the link to um, their site. Um, it's a be a unique link, okay? So if you use that link, um, there will be a 10% commission, all right, for me um, every time you use it, okay? This <laughs> one like that. So I'm trying to actually make sure I tell y'all the correct information and not leaving much out. I mean, it's a chicken coop. And like I say, they have different brands and stuff like that. I mean, not different brands, different sizes and stuff like that. So literally go and check out their page and see um, see if there's anything that you like. But keep in mind, y'all, um, I don't want you to spend your money on something. If you plan on having more than two, three chickens, then you need to go with something bigger, okay? Um, and like I say, this is my honest opinion from someone who has chickens. Um they're gonna need space they're gonna need room okay if you are because i have a lot of y'all that say that y'all are just looking for to have two chickens as some of y'all have said you just want two chickens then this will be a perfect coop for you um despite the fact that you do need to have a run error error for them or if you're gonna let them free range and then they come and you lock them up at night or whatever the case may be this will be the chicken coop for you so with that being said um i am going to go ahead like i say it took us a couple hours to get this done um a lot of that you will not see because of the time frame that they wanted me to do for this particular video because if i put all the, f the footage in there it would have been over an hour, okay? Well, over an hour because I recorded everything, um, but it's just that it took time. And let me just go ahead and say you do need somebody else to help you. Um, so Aronde was helping me put this together. It would have been even more of a hassle trying to hold everything if you do not have a second person to help you, okay? Some of those things can be a little heavy, um, when you're trying to strew and everything by yourself. So keep that in mind. All right, y'all. So this is not where it's going to be at, but we brought it down off the deck. So this is what it looks like right here. So got the little uh, step for them to go up in. There was an issue right here on the um, instructions. It was saying to put the lock right here. This is where it was pointing, but it's nothing to lock. So, I mean, I did it to the best of you know what would be best for me and put the lock right here um on this side to control that area because i'm thinking that's probably probably was a a mishap you know things happen it is what it is but now y'all know but um that's what it looks like in there and then when you come on around this one has six nesting boxes so you got three on each side okay let's see so see right there and i'm thinking that this part right here is to is to raise it up i'm thinking but see it won't go up further and i don't want to break it so uh but this is what the nesting boxes look like all right and then this is what the back look like the back also have um little latch area here and it comes down and that's another way you can clean and all that good stuff um, so I really, really like that. Then it's got the little vent, little window right here. And get some air or whatever. And then this side right here has another nesting box. Um, if I can get it to open. It has another nesting box right here. So that's six nesting boxes. 
Um, so yeah, this is how it looks. I like it. I am going to put it to good use. Not um, sure how I'm going to do everything, but I will bring it back because I'm, I may use it as a breeding thing. I'm not sure. Baby chicks, whatever. But you can use it for whatever is best for you. I know the run area is um, done separately and everything like that. But like I say, this video was sponsored, so this is what they wanted me to review. This is what they sent. So thank you so much at Tuvan for letting me um, um, review this chicken coop. I really, really appreciate it, y'all. And just to show y'all how good they hold up in case you haven't been following me, I'm going to take you over here and let y'all see what... Um, this one looks like now of course it's outside it's been through so many conditions but this is another one that i interviewed what well, not interviewed that i reviewed for them and look how it's holding up it's holding up just fine i have two roosters in there bud and jackson and they are happy they go up in their house at night hey bud and jackson so yeah so um i really really like that one and so like i say these is what i'm working with so i may use it as a breeder i may use it as baby chicks um because for mine i have all my ladies over there and then i have baby chicks in there and then i have some more smaller ones right there so yes it's going to good use <laughs> good good use good use so well i was joining y'all in so with that being said, y'all, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you be notified each and every time I upload a video, y'all. And I will see y'all in the next video if it's God's will, okay? Until next time, bye. Okay, y'all, that's the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so